I've gotten plenty of kudos of late for my top 10 list. We did the top 10 sports stories of 2018, the top 10 sports predictions of 2019, and today we'll change it up and I'll give you the top 10 sports icons in New York City history. Start spreading the news. We will work our way backwards to number one. Coming in at number 10, Jackie Robinson. There wasn't a player as important as Jackie. He's the man who went out and broke the color barrier in baseball. That challenging feat changed the course of history. Robinson's greatness and bravery and persistence paved the roads for so many after him. Without Robinson, sports as we know it today wouldn't exist. Robinson's skills on the field were top-notch as well. Part of the Brooklyn Dodgers, he spent 10 years contributing to one of New York's greatest franchises. His career average of 311 complements the 197 bases he stole, 137 home runs he hit, and 947 runs he scored. Robinson won a World Series title in 1955 and the National League's MVP award in 1949. Today, Robinson's number 42 is retired league-wide as a sign of respect for his heroics. We move from Brooklyn to Queens and the ninth spot. There's one New York Mets player who has to be featured, Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver. Seaver is the greatest pitcher in the history of the organization. During the 12 years he spent with the Amazons, he won 198 games and three Cy Young awards. His 2.57 ERA was proof of how he was able to control a game with his command. The Mets have had a lot of pitchers come through the doors over the years, but none was quite like Seaver. He was part of the Mets' inaugural championship in 1969, winning 25 games that year, the Miracle Mets. Walt Frazier defined style in the Big Apple as one of the best point guards in the history of New York basketball. Frazier steered the ship during the Knicks' championship quest in 1973. His career averages are very respectable at 18.9 points, 6.1 assists, and 5.9 rebounds per game. Frazier's legacy though in New York City goes further than the stat sheet. He was part of the last Knicks team to win an NBA title. These days Clyde spends his time wearing unconventional suits and serving as arguably the best color commentator in pro hoops. Clyde is eighth on my list. Derek Jeter spent 20 seasons playing shortstop for the New York Yankees. The captain ended his illustrious career in the big leagues with 3,465 hits, a 310 career batting average, and five gold gloves. More importantly, he was a winner. Jeter won five World Series titles and played in seven fall classics. In an era intertwined with steroids, Jeter was a beacon of light. There may have been better Yankees, statistically speaking, but few will be remembered like Jeter. Jeets is seventh on my list. At number six, the cutter. I mean, Mariano Rivera. Moe's dynamic cutter and control from the mound allowed him to play for 19 years in the Bronx. Building a Hall of Fame resume on the back of five championships, Rivera walked away with 1,173 strikeouts, 652 saves, and a career ERA of a measly 2.21. There may never be a closer quite like him again. Rivera blew only 80 saves during his entire career. That ratio is staggering. That means 89.1% of the time he got credited with a save. The Sandman takes my sixth spot and foreshadows many more pinstripe legends to come. Do you want to strike fear in the hearts of men? Our next athlete did just that. Back in the 80s and early 90s, all you had to say was two letters, LT. To this day, Lawrence Taylor is the most disruptive and aggressive defensive player in NFL history. He changed the outside linebacker position and did it all wearing the New York Giants blue. Taylor's 132.5 sacks may be the second most in Giants history behind Michael Strahan, but that doesn't mean he wasn't the most commanding player in team history. Many who watched him play would tell you that that LT was the greatest defensive football player to ever live. Two Super Bowl rings later, and Taylor is number five on my list. Coming in at number four, the Mick was the epitome of baseball in the Bronx. He was 5'11", 195 pounds of sheer power. During his 18 seasons in pinstripes, Mickey Mantle blasted 536 home runs, knocked in 1,509 RBI, and finished his career with a 298 batting average. He won the Triple Crown in 1956, three MVP awards, and capped it all off with four straight seasons seasons as the number one ranked player in war wins above replacement a stat used today of all his accolades that could be the most impressive one in today's scope he'll be remembered most for mythological home runs and for playing in 12 World Series and winning seven. But at the end of the day, Mickey Mantle will be remembered as one of the greatest players in New York sports 
history. Joe DiMaggio was a nine-time World Series champion. He hit 361 home runs during his career and won three American League MVP awards. When he hung up his cleats, his 325 batting average put him into a tie for third place in franchise history. And oh, there was that 56-game hitting streak too. Jolt and Joe had so much going for him during his prime. He won a lot. He built a Hall of Fame legacy and he even had songs made about him. He also married Marilyn Monroe. Not too shabby. DiMaggio is a vibrant, immortal piece of sports history. Lucky for everyone who lives in New York, he did all of those great things in pinstripes. DiMaggio's final season, 1951, was Mantle's first. How about that transition in center field in the Bronx? Joe D takes number three on my list of greatest sports icons in New York history. At number two, the Iron Horse. The first baseman of the Yankees between 1921 and 1936 did remarkable things. Lou Gehrig could really only play second fiddle to the man that rests at number one. More on that in just a moment. Before his career and life were cut short due to ALS, which is commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease, Gehrig hit 493 home runs and 1,995 RBI and walked away with a 340 career batting average. He hit for average, he swung for the fences, and he did it with grace. A Triple Crown win in 1934 was the pinnacle of his on-field success. Fans of the game should do themselves a favor and immerse themselves in his stats. He drove in 174 RBI in a season not once but twice. Yeah, 174 is great, but Garrick topped that in 1931 when he batted in 185. Had his career not been cut short, maybe he'd be number one on this list. Nonetheless, no one will ever forget the man. He's an all-time cultural icon whose character and will to fight stand the test of time. And the number one sports icon in New York City history, in my book at least, the great Bambino. Arguably the greatest baseball player to ever walk the planet, an ex-Boston Red Sox pitcher who was converted into the best power hitter the game has ever seen. Ruth launched New York and the Yankees to places it had never been seen before. His 15 years in pinstripes produced 659 career home runs, 1,978 RBI, 2,518 hits, and an astounding slugging percentage of 711. Ruth defied logic as he belted out home run after home run. He was charismatic off the field and brilliant on it. That combination made him an absolute legend. Ruth won seven World Series with the Bronx Bombers and in the process became the pinnacle of sports legend in New York history. Let the debates begin. I can't wait to hear the Joe Namath, Mark Messier, Patrick Ewing, Sandy Koufax supporters, etc., etc. That's my top 10. What's yours? Chime in on social media. Hit me up at The Voice Bobby C. And give me your top 10 in order. The greatest sports icons in New York history. Stay tuned. More open after this.